It's February and that means we're celebrating Black History Month. Black history, of course, is American history. And the same goes for African American art. Later this year, the Tacoma Art Museum will be host to a distinguished collection of African American art and history when the Kinsey Family Collection makes its stop in the Pacific Northwest. What, what kind of artwork and artifacts will the, the TAM be getting? Oh my word, um, where do I begin? <laughs> uh, well, in terms of artwork, we're getting um, many of the um, many of the most uh, most uh, important art artists of the nineteenth and twentieth century, including uh, 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 Romare Bin, um, Sam Gilliam, um, Elizabeth C Catlett. Uh, of course, Jacob Lawrence, um, uh, and many, many more. And those, those are works that are very, very, very strong. Um, and uh, uh, obviously, artists that are well known, um, mixed in with other artists who are, who are much well, well, less well known. Um, and in terms of the objects, to me, that's even more actually the the artifacts, the 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 history objects, the printed materials. To me, that's even more enlightening uh, because I knew a lot about the art, and with the art, these things bring home so strongly um, the 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 conditions and the way that the African-American population have been treated and ignored and bullied and, and all of those things um, uh, since the beginning of, uh, since the beginning of uh, America. So with the fact that the TAM is getting this, you said this is, this is the first time in the Pacific, this exhibit has been in the Pacific Northwest. It's a traveling exhibit and it's up here. What does it mean for the TAM, one, to get this, and two, for, for Tacoma to get it? Seattle's not getting it. Portland's not getting it. It's coming here to Tacoma. What does it mean? Well, it makes me very proud that, that the Kinseys decided to choose TAM based, I think, pretty much on, on their knowledge and appreciation of TAM as a museum an institution that does care about its community deeply. And, and many institutions, we haven't done enough to show how much we care sometimes, but, but we really do care. Um, and so that they would choose us uh, um, and not try and get it into Portland or, or Seattle Art Museum or, or, or anywhere else in the, in the Northwest was a really big deal. How how will this exhibit really demonstrate that and 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 bring out the need for more for 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 the awareness of civil rights and social justice and 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 those types of things? Can you can you tell me any anything about that? Well, yeah, I mean, it, for me, it was uh, it was a happy coincidence that 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 we had booked this exhibition in 2019 before the murder of George Floyd in 2020 and in May and all of that. I mean, it was already on the books. Happy coincidence. Um, but we did it because, not because we were prescient, but because we knew that there, were, there was this uh, social justice problem and that we knew that there were the 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 people of color, black people, were still in some places and in some regards regarded as as less than less than white people. You can see the Kinsey African American Art and History Collection in person starting July 31st at the Tacoma Art Museum. You can learn more about this fascinating collection of art and history by visiting the website at the bottom of your screen. 
The Northwest is full of many accomplished and talented African-American artists. Artists who use their craft to display social and cultural trials and triumphs, injustices and injustices. I recently spoke to Dara Breeze, a local multimedia artist who uses her photography to give a voice to those who typically don't have one. You really like to showcase diversity. Tell me about how you use your art to do that. Thank you for recognizing that. That's a huge compliment. Um, I, it all starts off with using the idea of using my lens and as a black woman and being in this type of art and field, I find it tough to find people that look like me. So I wanted to create a space and invite everyone to my table and say that you are beautiful for who you are and also share their story, even if it's based on a fictional reference or nonfiction. I'm just trying to share everyone's story and imagination. You like to use your craft um, to give a voice to those who don't have one or aren't heard. T tell me about that. Yeah, um, so the one thing I noticed just working with some of my models is that they know that they wanna be a model, but they don't know how to use that. Um, with that position and I as an artist as a photographer as even as a producer creative director I find different opportunities for them to be able to use their voice um, for example I had one model where they feel like they are beautiful they feel like they are a statue they have this manner about them I want to give them that entity that kind of feeling so I put them in one of my projects the miseducation of representation how do you find your inspiration? Um, I find my inspiration based off my experiences in my life. And I, since I grew up here, it all started off with nature and figuring out that was really the root, being able to capture beauty. And then um, watching television and different forms of art and realizing that there's a need for diversity here in the narrative. So that's where I felt like I could come in. So your work was displayed last year at the Tacoma uh, Art Museum um, as a local artist. And uh, what, how, how, does that, how does that make you feel that, that they, they selected your work to, to, to be displayed at, at their museum? Oh man, that was huge. That, that I, it, still, it still stings me to this day that, that it's a huge accomplishment. Um, it was also during the same year when I first, when I graduated. So it was just a huge confirmation that I'm on the right track. What, um, what are some of your more powerful works? What are some of the ones that, that strike you as, as being not necessarily just better than others, but just really powerful and, and why? I would say it's more my most recent project, um, my miseducation and representation, as well as um, my the project that I just recently released, which is right behind me. Um, I just did this on purpose, so you can see. And I wanted to showcase the universality of being able to claim your dreams. I think we need it right now. We need light, and my biggest. Um, how do I say this? My biggest motto these days is to be the light. And that's what I'm really focused on is making, but figuring out a way to help people discover their own self-love through my own photography and art. What projects are you working on now? Right now I'm working on a project called Escapism. It has more of a Afrofuturism theme that focuses on the question the multiplicity of what blackness in America means. If you'd like to learn more about Dara's photography, you can do so by visiting the website displayed at the bottom of your screen. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Northwest Now Digital First. Thanks for joining me. I'm Chris Anderson.